The elevation map is of particular importance when we perform orthokeratology to predict a certain decentration of a contact lens. But it is not only useful in orthokeratology. For a normal patient, we are going to be able to detect whether we have some degree of rare, suspected, or ectatic elevation, and we will be able to monitor this over time. An aberration map of the anterior face of the cornea is just as important. With this function, we will be able to evaluate the RMS, total aberrations in the cornea. We can differentiate the different Zernica coefficients, astigmatic aberration, spherical aberration, coma and higher order aberrations, each with its RMS. It is interesting, for example, when we insert a contact lens to find out what aberrations may be present in that cornea, or when we perform orthokeratology and have a decentered treatment, the aberrometry map can show us why that patient is complaining that he or she can't see clearly. The contact lens may have become decentered, the optical region may be small, therefore it may be useful to take a look at the aberrations map. We will also have access, obviously, to comparative maps. Comparative maps that we can use as standard in orthokeratology, post-ortho K map minus pre-ortho K map. We can evaluate this differential map to determine where the contact lens is situated. We could also obtain an axial comparative map to tell us about the number of diopters we have removed in each region. We can also use comparative maps, for example, when we suspect an ectasia or in the event of a confirmed keratoconus and we wish to monitor this over time. This visualization is interesting. Here we have a topography of the right eye and a topography of the left eye. In this case, we have two orthokeratology treatments performed previously. Personally, I like to do this before performing the orthokeratology, the pre for the right eye and the pre for the left eye as this allows us to evaluate the symmetry or asymmetry of the corneas, which could explain or predict whether our contact lenses will remain centered or not.